Hey House Music Heads, this is Habibi Grooves from Burden House Music and we're back with another weekly update on some events, some reaction videos uh, on some music and some other juicy stuff. And most importantly, we have a guest today, aka Mohican in the building. Yo, what's up? What's good? All right, so we're gonna dive straight into it basically with the weekly events. Uh, I have my laptop on here. So, since it's Friday tonight, there's probably some nice parties going on. Yeah, I think so. What do we have here? Do you, do you have any parties like just off, off the top of your mind? Are you going to any parties this weekend? Uh, this weekend I'm actually working. Mm. So, unfortunately, I will not be going out, okay. although I will still be in the club. Okay. Where, where are you working? At Watergate. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, for the first party, we have Build a Renata, and it's called Renata with actually the whole lineup, basically. So, um, But what I saw there is, obviously, Alison Swing, mm, nice. Adi Toledano. And from the people that I know, a, a Seamless is playing there as well, and Doyas, Dojas. Oh, yeah, those are my boys, Seamless, playing back to back. Nice. Do you know the Amy U? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I'm sorry. Amy U, I know as well. <laughs> he was at the party actually last uh, Saturday yeah. as well. Um, yes, definitely. I got you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I just didn't connect the, the, the face with the. That's a real uh, juicy lineup. It is a juicy lineup. Um, I really do admire Adi Toledano. Adi Toledano actually stumbled upon, he was playing at Farab Financier back then, mm -hmm. which used to be Bulbul, or which is Bulbul now, which was Farab Financier back then. And yeah, it's really amazing how he mixes everything. He's really, yeah, just dedicated and passionate and is a dope fucking DJ. Yeah. The next event that we have is actually from a crew I know, Let's Discult, um, from Discult Sound System, uh, two guys, I've been working with them for a long time as well, and yeah, they're doing an after hour at Golden Gate. Then we're going to move on to Saturday. Oh, my man, Craig. Nice, That's the yes. That's that calls me Sizzler. This is like <laughs> tells me the most is like The Simpsons. Ah, okay. I don't know The Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, but basically right. one of the reasons is Craig White for sure that yeah. I chose this party as well because uh, his parties and his vibes are just amazing. I think you know. Crazy it's, man, right? really. Yes. Uh, it's a lot of love, a lot of possibility, and super dope disco and house. I would say. Uh, so this party will be at Bulbul on Saturday. The Disco Express at Bulbul. And then we have, yes, I chose a Halloween party, but it was just because of the lineup. Okay, all right. Let's see. You what know, we, what the we, ghost what we, Halloween. What do we got? Spookathon. With Dr. Banana. With Dr. Banana, but the ghost is playing, actually. I'm a big fan of the ghost. Uh -huh. And my man, Sweely. And Sweetie is, uh, I really love his productions, like almost every track. It's, he's, he's, he's the man <laughs> when yeah. it comes to productions. It's super nice. Yeah, I really love his sound. And we are back. We are back to our next section. And in our next section, what classic house track has been making you groove recently? That's a very good question, actually. We found Thank this you. question. <laughs> <laughs> We found this question on um, the, I stumbled upon it in my feed. It was posted by TrackSource and I was basically, you know, hungry for some house music. So I checked out the comments and we are gonna listen to some of the tracks um, that they mentioned, that the crowd mentioned. And so it's just gonna be very short as usual because we don't wanna get the copyright issue going on. Um, so yeah, it's going to be snippets of maybe 15 seconds max. All right. The first track that we're going to listen to is Passion. Cat Decor. I 
I have this track. Now I need to play more. I'm gonna skip it a bit. Yes. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, know I, I think that's in the mix that I might have sent. I don't know. I definitely oh, nice. have that track. Okay. Yeah, dope. That's a banger. And a it cover. is a banger. Uh, definitely, because um, like how the generally the vibe in the beginning, like mm. with the pads and stuff coming in. Um, but I really also like the drum stuff. It's very organic, old school yeah, kind of sure. drums yeah, yeah. from back in the day, even though, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and the piano, how it kicks in. I think it's very dope. We're going to go to the next one and listen to some ads first. Oh, no. OK, cool. And the next one is called is from John Cutler featuring E-Man, It's Yours. And it's the original distant music mix. Um, yeah, let's take a listen. Okay. Mm, yeah, I need this. It's by Chez Demir though, it's his label. So on top. Ah, could be, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, this is a... Uh... It's amazing. Actually, I, I, I know this track. I've heard it many times. I'm not sure if I have it. Um, but if you have it, if I have it, it's yours, says the vocal later on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Something like this. Yeah, this, um, is, uh, this but is really... Uh, if, I could, if I could describe... Um, small great things in one track i would, I would put this one right here ah, this is uh, nice you know dope yes yeah, yeah yeah it's really nice so this is the thing what i was surprised about basically when i was checking out the the comments because <laughs> you know yeah you i feel like this is a really uh really good source to use if you and like save yourself a lot of digging for some really cutter house tracks you know yeah and gems Okay, so that was John Cutler, It's Yours. Super dope featuring track. E -Man. Featuring E-Man. Um, the next one is by Armand van Helde, featuring Roland Clark. Flowers. F Flowers, and it's released in 18, uh, 98. 1998, guys. 1998. Roland Clark, this is going to be a real... Yeah? Yeah, I, I have a feeling. Yeah, <laughs> you can hear in this. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna skip it's a, a bit. Nine minute track. That's why. Yes. I'm very curious what percentage of these uh, tracks I could find digital. And if, uh, you know? True. But I think nowadays almost. All of the labels are digitalizing their shit. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of the these the older cutters, the older gems from like before ninety seven, ninety eight. Mm. Some of them are a, a little hard to find digital, and if you do, then they don't quite sound the same. Yeah, as the vinyl. I understand. Yes, yes, yes. I, I would say this is a perfect. Actually, also nine minutes long, uh, nine minutes thirty, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, perfect track, perfect playing track, and it has so much groove. It is the disco, the f filter house. Mm -hmm. Basically, you have the disco sample going along it, and the filter is kind of changing throughout the song, which is very nice. But it can really elevate, I feel like, um, basically the sets from going, let's say, just like from static house like very four to the floor, boom, 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 to a little bit more organic and a, bore, a bit more... Fuller. Yeah. yeah. And also a little bit happier because it is fuller. Mm -hmm. You have more spectrum and people kind of then also with the singing, I feel like it, it really kind of just elevates the set. It's it's perfect to have it in between like static house tracks, let's say. Yeah. And I also t I feel like it really tells a story too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so... Good stuff. Super um, nice, stuff. Super nice stuff. I would say at the end, let's let's pick our favorite from the tracks also. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to go to the next one. And the next one is... Do you know this one? The Believers. So this is actually a two-part uh, track. Okay. I, at least I believe because there's... Uh, so one is um, Who Dares to Believe in Me. Yes. Oh, no, maybe I'm confusing this with another one. Ah. Oh, let's go. I need to hear this. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay. I might be confusing this with... Uh, Something else? Yeah. But, but I... Uh, You'll find out. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the believers. I think it's uh, strictly rhythm. That's why. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, the believers, Roy Davis Jr. Who dares to believe in me? Original mix from Strictly Rhythm, the label. Who dares to believe in me? I believe in me. I believe in me too. So are we playing the, the original mix? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yeah. But this is a lot of mixes on the song. There's a lot of edits. But you can see there's a, the brass beats is another one. Yeah, yeah, the different. Side. Yeah, the, the original. Yeah, exactly. But you have like a lot of. Uh, I feel like this used to be more of a thing back in the day. You would have one track, you would have the instrumental vakes. Mm. Acapella. Acapella mix or like vocal mix and all different kind of mixes or the club version and like radio yeah. version kind of vibe. And nowadays it's more like here's four tracks instead. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But you know this track. You, yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I really like this track. Um, I don't think I have it. But yeah, I've heard it like so many times and it's a really dope house track, like one of the classics, I yeah. would say. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Moving to the next one, which is the Shapeshifters Lola's theme. Lola. <laughs> this one, I don't know. Is this a... Okay. Hmm. Then the Discord first one. Yeah. yeah, you know this. <laughs> Straight away. Yeah. Goes for it, you know. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. these comment tracks <laughs> yes it's right really, yeah it's perfect. it is actually it would be a nice challenge to do yeah it's it's it, I, I mean, think like, super nice go through the tracks a couple of times listen see what fits but this is like oh, every every track so far is really good you know? yeah right? it's just a matter of like putting them in order so so yeah and funnily enough this is uploaded like 14 years ago really this one on youtube so it's uh, it's an old one too so it's <coughs> even better so the people were already picking old songs from 14 years ago so yes it makes it even so yeah but super nice um when i heard the samples the first few seconds as we just listened i was intrigued because i was like hey wait a minute this actually sounds familiar you know mm -hmm. and so i did some research and found um where it was sampled from <laughs> okay you know who's really good with this stuff? Ava. Mm. Ava is like on point all the time. If she heard us listening to the first time, she would be like, Psh, you guys don't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, but yes. So I'm it's surprised. basically sampled from Johnny Taylor, What About My Love? And obviously how I found out there is this website called Who Sampled This, which I use often. You just put in the name and it gives you who sampled it. <clears throat> like who used this sample and you can go as far as like sometimes seven or eight tracks wow. that used some kind of snippet of the sample or that sampled the sample sample yeah. <laughs> you know that's actually really helpful because uh, that really bothers me sometimes when I hear a track yes. and I'm like oh I know this is from a rap song or mm. this is from some other famous song yeah. yeah my question to you is what's your favorite track um, well a few well, two I already kind of know, so that's a little bit hard to say. But I think I think it was the one with, with E-Man, for sure. That's definitely I'm going to mm. use. Um, a little bit hard to get, you know, like, because they were just like little snippets. But for sure, I would say I think the John Cutler featured yes. E-Man. And yours? 
I'm gonna have to say the same. Shifter. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> that would be actually the track that I would. This would be the only track that I would buy and would play. But um, I, but I also feel like having um, a Lola Steam in your bag is like, like playing it at the right time, you know, yes. in the right place will really, really elevate, you know, and just give it a super. But it's a it's a classic, so. Yeah, I think you, it would be super dope to play as a. Um, like uh, the uh, last track of yeah, the set. Closing, yeah, yeah. I, thought closing. The, I thought the same thing too. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. and so actually, I want to go to the next section. This is basically reading up your lovely comments on the last videos, uh, which is always fun to do. So on the Roland MC505 Groovebox video that I, I did. That one. That was cool. Thank you, man. Um, one dude said, or actually one account said, Loader 2K1. Um, the video game nerd in me can't help but to think that you are trying to recreate the Japanese European version of the Sonic the, <laughs> the Hedgehog CD OCT yeah when playing around with your MC 505 keep, keep up, up the good, good work word, nice <laughs> that's dope yeah yeah Sonic I used to play it I think it was on Sega. a Game Boy uh, I used to play on Sega Genesis you know, is it was it? Sega? I remember Sega. But I think Sonic was also on Game Boy. But I thought it was a Sega game. Could anyway. be, actually, yeah. But yeah. Um, I actually have to um, look up this track. You think you could recreate that? On if this person thinks this way, yeah. I I'm, I'm actually want to give it a, a go, you know? Try it out. Did you do the Pac-Man one, too, while you're at it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, and... On the last video it did, which was the weekly update from last week, mm -hmm. um, very lovely comments as well. I'm going to read some of them. I love the track list reaction section. Really cool to discover these new stuff. Very nice selection. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Um, I really enjoyed the tracks and I hope that this week's selection is even better. Okay. So, yeah, let us know. You know, um, another one said, nice, can't wait to get out of my creative slump and perfectionism and send some music in. Do you have any tips for getting tracks done faster and better? Do I have any? Yeah, they should sign up for your course, your masterclass. You should sign up for my masterclass, which is going to be available right now. <laughs> um, Coming next year, January 2024, Habibi Groove's Masterclass. Six positions only available. Get your spots while they last. <laughs> this is good. We might do this. <laughs> we might do this. <laughs> Dope. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so I'll put you in charge of the advertisements and stuff. I got you back. Okay, nice. Thanks, bro. But uh, do, you, do you have any tips for getting any uh, tracks done faster and better? Yes, so I'm actually thinking of making a video about this in detail and um, going into it. I realize that I don't put out that much music in general and I'm not very consistent with it. I just, I did just finish an album that's going to be coming out soon. Um, and for that, I actually also had to get out of my slump basically and really just think of the tracks um, as like little life forms that have a life span and at one point you get to the end mm -hmm. they basically aged and sometimes there's basically just no finish and then it's either i'm gonna throw the track away or i'm just gonna change something slightly or just leave it as it is so really need to think okay i want to finish this by next week this is the deadline and this way you're putting the deadline to yourself and you're really thinking by then it's done whether i'm finishing it or not so i better put some effort into it mm, okay. and but it's very important to not move the deadline you cannot move the deadline so this is very important because the deadline needs to be the deadline and then see what you come up with yeah, i like that yeah it's a nice um, uh, biology uh, analogy that you used the whole you know 
Uh, I'm currently having a little uh, trouble with uh, keep going back to the same track, you know, making a different version. Yeah. Or always feeling the need that like something needs to be added or it needs to be perfect. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was helpful. Thanks. No worries. I think slowly this is it for this video. Yeah, I'm really uh, really looking forward to the comments and uh, how people react to the tracks. Yes. And um, yeah. A really nice segment. Thank you for having me. And worries. Cool to be on. <laughs> <laughs> and the second light just went out, as you can see in the background as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I really liked it. We are doing um, in the future also an in-depth interview with Mohican um, to get to know him a little bit better. And we're going to do in the future probably a lot of videos together as well. So get used to this face, this pretty face. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next time next week with another weekly update and some other videos coming your direction as well i think that we, we honestly um we could wrap it up yeah yeah we are just we gotta do the 